Hi family, hi friends, how are you? I hope that you're well today. Thank you for stopping by my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be discussing wall decor. I consider myself somewhat of a minimalist when it comes to home decor, but wall decor does not fit into that minimalist category for me. For some reason, when I see a blank wall, I want to fill it. And so I, that has led me to come up with a lot of unique ideas for my wall decor because I get sick of just the same old framed art and I want to mix things up. So in today's video, I have some unique ideas for you to help you stick out, step outside of the box as well and do something a little bit different with your wall decor. I hope you enjoy. Now I have shown this installation so many times on my channel. If you're not new here, you're probably sick of seeing it. But if you are new here, I thrifted every single one of these baskets either at the thrift store or an estate sale, except for the middle one. This one was from Walmart, but this entire wall cost $30. And I think it's super effective, especially since our house is kind of a cottage slash cabin style house. For these, I just hung them up with little nails and then to knock down the shine on the nail heads, I just put a little bit of beige paint and they blend right in with the baskets. You could use command strips too. Um, command strips don't always stay up in my house. I think, I'm not sure if it's the fluctuating humidity or what, but they just, they don't always stick for me. So that's why I went with just little itty bitty nails. This over here, I've shown on my channel before too. I actually have a whole video on how I created this, but this was actually part of a bed frame that we found on our property when we moved in. And I fell in love with the scallop design on this footboard right here. I'm a sucker for scallops. <laughs> so I ended up painting this white. I wet distressed it and then I waxed it and then I installed these metal animal heads. And there is another half of this that I will show you here in a minute. I just cut it in half and the metal animal heads I got off of Amazon. Well, hello puppy. All day long you come in and out. This is my dog Ruger. I don't know if you can see him, but he's the sweetest nine-year-old. We love him so much. Anyway, I think this would be really cute. This idea above a bed or a crib. I think it'd be so cute in a nursery. We've just chosen to put them in our living room, but we really love them. And I'll show you the other half real quick. Okay, so what you just saw was the footboard of that bed frame. Now this is the headboard and this is the full piece except I cut off the bottom as opposed to cutting it in half. And I was going to put this in our mudroom and have the doorknobs act as hooks there. I thought that would be really pretty. It was just a little bit too long for there. So instead I ended up popping it up here above our fireplace. And I do have an entire video on that as well if you're curious as to how I took basically what someone else thought of as trash and just left behind and made it into a focal point in our living room. I really love this piece. I painted it with black milk paint and then I sealed it with hemp oil after wet distressing it as well. And then these are vintage doorknobs that I installed with dowels. Like I said in the beginning of this video, I was going to show you out of the box ideas and I... I really love this. I think it turned out really well. These are some wall sconces for candles that I made. I just took a glass insulator and attached it to a piece of scrap wood upside down and then stuck the candlestick inside. I dry brushed the wood so that the wood grain would pop and it would look a little bit more aged and weathered. And I think they're super cute. They cost me just what the candlestick cost, which was about a dollar because I already had all the other supplies.
These are some antique plates from my great grandmother. My grandmother gave them to me, but they were her mother's and I just hung them above our kitchen sink on either side of this window. Now this is something I just completed yesterday. Sorry, puppy's playing. But my husband and I gathered some flowers basically from the ditch. Now if you do, if you do this, then make sure you look your flowers up to make sure they're not poisonous. But I dried them in between parchment paper and stuck them in the pages of a book for about a week. It just takes as long as it takes for the moisture to come out of the flowers. And then they're pretty much ready to go. But I put it um, on this craft paper. I just laid them and then sandwiched them until I could get it placed in the frame. And so this actually cost me zero dollars. And I think it's super cute. It's something super unique that no one else will have. Okay, so first, this gallery wall is a fairly recent installation for me. This is completely thrifted items. The embroidery hoops were thrifted. Most of them I got for 50 cents each. The doilies were thrifted. Most of those I got for about $2 a piece, with the exception of the really big doily and the hoop. I spent about $12 on that. But in total, this installation cost about $30. And I either tied the doilies onto the hoops with like thread, or if it was a big enough doily for the hoop, I just kind of squished it in between the hoop rings like this one here. This was super simple to put up. I think it looks really pretty above the bed, just something different than your normal boxy framed art. most unique pieces of wall art that I have. I do have some other ideas on my channel that are really budget friendly and cost effective, which all of these ideas have been so far. I like to think outside of the box. I like to get creative. So I hope you found an idea that you thought was worth trying in your own home. And if you have any questions, pop them down in the comments for me. Like this video for me, share it with your friends, subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as part of my channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Well, those are the most unique pieces of wall art that I have. Can you hear my puppies playing in the background? Okay. It's fabulous. It's fabulous. Seriously, guy. I just want to get through the outro. Okay. So the minute I stop filming, you guys stop fighting. Look at me like I'm crazy. Oh, when I shut my feelings out. You look at me like I'm different. Still you stay cause you feel something real. Get so lost in my moments. Doesn't mean I don't need you. I With your colors, they kind of tell me what I'm thinking. I fell in love with the way we are and the way we lose it. There's something different about us.